We will no longer fold our arms as lawyers and watch the judiciary be continuously harangued and the temple of justice desecrated by a group of people who fail to perfect an electoral haste and inflate their vote by over 165,000 in a desperate bid to win the March 18, 2023 Kanu State governorship election at all costs. It is on the above premise that we wish to salute the courage and sound reasoning that resonated in the judgment of the tribunal and the Court of Appeal, which dispenses justice by aligned overwhelming yearnings and aspiration of the majority of Kanu citizens. As expressed in the valid number of votes cast in the March 18th governorship election, to stand against the selfish interests of few who plan to subvert the democratic exercise through electoral fraud and vote manufacturing. We are not surprised that the sad governor of Kanu State and his higher agent have become insistent in selling propaganda in the name of a contradiction in the CTC of the appeal court judgment. Nigerians will have nothing but pity for a party in a suit who finds no premise upon which to launch a successful appeal against a judgment backed by law and fact. May we repeat here that the judgment of the Court of Appeal on this case was a very straightforward one which rightly dismissed the appeal of Abba K. Yusuf and upheld the sack by the tribunal. The court envisaged clerical errors in judgment and therefore embedded in their handbook and rules. Enactment that empowered the court to vary its own judgment to reflect its original intentions, like the order 23 rule 4 of the Court of Appeal handbook, which empowered them to record the CTC of their judgment and correct clerical errors, like that of Kanuguba judgment. This has also been judicially noticed and treated in plethora of cases, such as Ajibola versus State and Okibe versus Kekere. May we also use this opportunity to urge Nigerians to not cave in to the misleading narrative being pushed by the agents of Kanu governor, who are grasping at the clerical error on page 67 of the CTC of the Court of Appeal judgment to bring the Honorable Justice, who delivered the sound judgment to public district courts. The importance of the judiciary in keeping our democracy alive and thriving can never be overemphasized. It is on the background that we implore the Supreme Court to dispense justice in this appeal before it without taking into consideration the distractions and attempts at blackmail. We are with the judiciary and assure them of our unflinching support as they move to save Nigeria's democracy from vote triggers and election fraudsters. We must sanitize our electoral system now and build a strong democratic war against vote inflation and other electoral malfeasances. Consequently, we are calling on peace-loving Nigerians to arise in defense of our cherished democracy from these desperate politicians who are using every illegal means to blackmail our judiciary into giving authenticity to electoral fraud by allowing a man who manufactured over 165,000 to electoral fraud to seize power at the expense of the overwhelming yearnings and aspiration of the majority of Kanu citizens as clerical es expressed in the valid vote cast at the March 18th Kanu governorship election. Our democracy is stronger and bigger than any group or political party. The African continent has witnessed many democracies being truncated in recent times. We want the Kanu governor, NMPP, and their agent to desist from taking actions that threaten our nascent democracy. The valid vote cast by Kanu citizens must be upheld, irrespective of the threats of fire and brimstone from vote manufacturers. It is based on this and in defense of democracy and the authentic winner of the March 18th Kanu gubernatorial election, Gauna, that we, the over 500 lawyers from across the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria, decided to join the defense team of Gauna at the Supreme Court.